A surprise find under a desk at the CIA, a box of tapes containing interrogations in a secret overseas prison of an admitted 9-11 plotter. They're the, we believe, the only known tapes that still exist from the interrogation and rendition program. Two videotapes and one audio tape of Ramsey bin al-Sheib reportedly do not show any harsh interrogation techniques. 92 other tapes that are said to show Abu Zubaydah and Abd al-Nashiri being waterboarded were destroyed. Our investigation has provided an unparalleled look into Ramzi bin al-Sheib's time in the black sites. Bin al-Sheib was captured in Pakistan a year after 9-11. Over the next four years, he was moved more than half a dozen times, finally ending up in Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. Early on, he spent time in a Moroccan prison. Morocco has never acknowledged its existence. Well, the CIA would assert that the prison was not part of the agency's secret network of, of black sites, of jails, because the Moroccans maintain control of it. Um, that's true, but the CIA had obviously access to it. They had interrogators there. The tapes could play a role in any trial Ben al-Sheib faces. Two former CIA officials say Ben al-Sheib almost immediately exhibited traces of mental instability that would worsen over time. Others suggest his prolonged attention contributed to that deterioration. I think it's a good thing that the American public and even the world public gets to see the way that our country acted uh, toward these individuals uh, after 9-11 um, because I think it's important for the, 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 the public to hold the government accountable and to know what's going on. But Ben al-Sheib is asked to plead guilty. The move would head off any trial and almost certainly guarantee the tapes never get played in court. Matt Friedman, The Associated Press.